how to add products from Printful to Etsy. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I will be showing you this quick and easy tutorial in order to add products from Printful straight through your Etsy store. Now, before we get started, the links for the mentioned tools and softwares are in the description box below. So make sure to check it out. Now, the first method in order to do so is you want to go ahead and create a Printful account and an Etsy account. Right after having both accounts, you can just navigate through the store section from the Printful dashboard right here. Once inside, you can then go ahead and see all of your stores from the Printful website. So you simply want to scroll down and from here, you want to navigate through the section called to create a new store, choose your method. You can just select the choose platform. From here, we can then go ahead and see the Etsy store from the e-commerce platform. You can then go ahead and see it right here, which is the Etsy marketplace, a creative marketplace with over 80 million active buyers worldwide. If you cannot go ahead and see it from the top, you simply want to scroll down and you could go ahead and see it from here. So you want to click on connect from here, scroll down and you have a simple step-by-step -step tutorial. But to proceed, you simply want to click on connect to Etsy. It will then go ahead and open up this tab where you have to select a sign in method. You have Google, Facebook, and Apple. And so right after signing in, you can then go ahead and see this message right here. An application would like to connect to your account, which is the Printful website connecting to the Etsy account. From here, the application Printful is trying to connect to your account. You should be seeing this message because you're using an Etsy app. If you don't come to this page through an Etsy app or if you follow a link to your email, you want to close this window. But in our case, we are going to be linking our Etsy to the Printful website. So in here, if you grant access, you will be subject to the Printful privacy policy and Printful will have permission to do the following on your behalf, which is to connect the store, read your user profile, see the billing and shipping address, see all checked outs and more right here. Now to proceed, you simply want to click on grant access. From there, it will then head you back to the Printful website where you have to click on continue. Click on continue once more. And from there, you will be able to add your store here on the Printful website as you can go ahead and see. And now to add products through Printful to the Etsy store, you simply want to navigate through the product template at the corner of the Printful website. From here, we can then go ahead and choose a bunch of templates to go ahead and get started with. You simply want to click on create product. And once inside, we have templates like men's clothing, women's clothing, kids and youth clothing, and you could just go ahead and open up your own type of product to sell to your WooCommerce store. To make everything easy, I'll just navigate through the men's clothing right here, and I'll just select the t-shirt section. Inside t-shirt, let's just go ahead and say that I specialize on selling some t-shirt to my WooCommerce store. So I'll just click on one of the t-shirts that the template has. From there, it will then prepare the design maker in order for us to customize this the way we want to. Now, you can just go ahead and specifically match this through your brand in order to sell a lot of this products through your store. You can go ahead and customize the front, back, left sleeve, right sleeve, inside label, and outside label. Now to go ahead and upload your design, you simply want to click on upload or drop your design right here. From there, it will open up this menu where you can upload or select the files that you already uploaded to your Printful website. Inside, I have two images right here and to upload your image, you simply want to click on the upload button. In my case, I'll just go ahead and use this Bitcoin logo right here. From there, it will then go ahead and take us to this page where we can adjust the size of our logo. And right after that to proceed, you then want to click on save to template. 
but before that of course you can go ahead and edit the back left right sleeve inside label and outside label you can also transform position crop pattern or remove the background of this specific logo right here now as you can see with a click of a button we have managed to remove the background of this specific logo click on save the template and now it will take us to the second part of adding our products to our store. From here, you can then go ahead and see all of your templates. This is the one that we have created earlier. So you want to click on add to store button. It will then go ahead and show you this menu where you can then go ahead and select colors available for your WooCommerce store. You then have all of the sizes. And if you scroll down, you then have all of the variants right here. Now, you simply want to click on proceed to mockups. And inside, we can choose between two mockups in order to sell these products. You have the basic mockups or you have the custom mockups. Now, if you want to build personalized mockups from scratch or use the templates, you can just click on the custom mockups. But to make things easier, I'll just select the basic mockups. From here, we then have a bunch of mockups to use. I'll just use this simple one right here. So once again, you simply want to click on continue. Right after that, we then have the details of our product right here. You have your language, the product title, the standard description, and we have the benefits of on-demand manufacturing. Now. By default, it should already have all of this filled out, but of course, you can just edit this the way you want to. Let's just go ahead and say that this t-shirt is the t-shirt Bitcoin. So you want to go ahead and insert your title right here. Now inside, we then have the standard description. So once again, you want to edit this according to your product's description or details. If you're done, you can then go ahead and scroll down. And from here, we have the EU GPS or compliance. You can add mandatory information about the product to the product description. And we also have the size guide right here. Now to make this consumer friendly, I suggest checking this box out. From here, click on continue. And for the last part, we then have the pricing of our clothing right here. Now, we have all of these sizes from extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, and moving forward. Now, you can adjust this depending on your price or on your product right here. Now, the retail price is going to be this specific amount right here, and the estimate earning is going to be between this money. If you then go ahead and sell your products on a higher retail price, basically, it will earn you more money. Now, I suggest adjusting this out depending on the size. As you can see, for the smallest one, we have the cheaper price right here. And as moving forward, the price gets bigger and bigger. And so as our estimated earning. Now, after adjusting your price, you simply want to click on submit to store. And so if you then navigate through this store section, scroll down, we can then go ahead and see all of the products that we have added to our store right here. Now, as you can see, I have the t-shirt Bitcoin available. And so if I click on edit, we can then go ahead and see that we have successfully added a product on or printful straight through the Etsy store. And so guys, if this video has been helpful, leave us a like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.